Hello guys, today I want to show you something that is really useful in my opinion and maybe it will help you too. So maybe you watched already a video of me where I modified the Steam Deck dual stage trigger mod. So on this Steam Deck here I have now like mouse clicks, mouse buttons, I can press them and you can hear the last one two millimeter. This is like on the steam controller and for me this is really useful because when you're in desktop mode I don't like to have to press the trackpad to to press the mouse so I like to hover over something and then press the R2 to start it or to click the left mouse click and if you also want to do this I can show how uh, show you how you can do this can go here to steam for example and then press the left and go to settings and then press ok and in settings you can go to controller and search for desktop configuration maybe you can read it maybe not now you can desktop configuration press of course again with the trackpad and sometimes it takes a while to to start so do not worry if it hangs for i don't know two minutes or so or one minute just be patient so now you can go to this one and i already set it to left mouse on your it is not going to be set probably and you can press a and full pull for example here i already had set it to left mouse but yeah let's go in and then you can go down with the d-pad and select the left mouse and if you do not know where the d-pad disappeared ah here it is uh, you can also use this you can press the steam button and for example the right analog or it is easier with steam plus trackpad and then you can also go to the left mouse and press it in so you can select it and now it is selected I don't know if you can see it now you can see it left mouse and also on the left trigger I set it to right mouse as you can see it's the same way you go here inside full pull for example and then set it to the right mouse press A it's set to right mouse now and when I go back I can now use the trackpad and I do not have to press in because sometimes when I press in the mouse is moving as you can see when I, it is moving by a lot and if you want to close for example a window and you press it in here it can happen that it moves and it doesn't close the window so now I can just hover over something for example this steam icon here and then press the right trigger to open it if I press two times or maybe go to copy it or something you know options and it's much easier so I can now use it like this for example shut it down and you can set much more stuff you can set it maybe this if you want uh, the trackpad to be for scrolling down pages if you're in Safari or not Safari Firefox or so or in Google Chrome in a browser and you can use it to scroll sites this is also something you can set and other stuff but uh, this is something really useful for me so let's shut it down and I want to show you something different now at the moment I'm moving as you can see here the Witcher 3 to the internal drive of the 512 gigabyte version and this is the 64 gigabyte version I already moved the game to the internal and it's only one game because it is fast full uh, it is already full very fast the internal uh, SSD and, and I'm testing the SSDs and the different SD cards so I have here a SanDisk Extreme Pro with one terabyte. Here is a 
Amazon Basics with one terabyte and I have different cards too. Already tested them and started three different games and something other. I will show you in another video and I will also put these two SD SSDs inside one of the Steam Decks and also test how fast they are. For example, launch a few games and see. Yeah, uh, if you do not subscribe, I will appreciate if you subscribe because I have a lot of other stuff also that I'm planning on doing and comparing and so on. For example, screen protector.